Electric Watch Training from the Samsung Studio at VidCon 2014, and this is Grace Helbig. Ah! Oh, my ears. Ah! I like screaming too. You have like a guttural, more like a deeper scream, not yeah. like a higher scream. No, ah! This has been a huge year for you, you know, launching yeah. It's Grace. How awesome is It's Grace? Yeah! Yay! And it's so amazing to see because really the community and your fans came out to support you. Yeah, it was great because I um, I have a hard time asking people for help. And so when the channel was launched, a lot of my YouTube friends and a lot of the community just voluntarily uh, supported it and, and talked about it and shared it with all of their communities and it was great and all of the the audience all of you guys just loved it instantly and it was amazing it was really great and yeah. also you starred in your first movie yeah Camp Dakota Camp did Dakota. everyone see Camp Dakota yeah Camp Dakota if you are wearing the shirts now yeah. this was all VidCon 2013 was all about Camp Dakota yeah we, we announced Camp Dakota at VidCon last year and now this VidCon is it's already been out and received and you also this was a big year because you have a book yeah, what the hey? Yeah. You like you like reading or encouraging somewhat reading? I don't, I don't know. know. Some a company was <laughs> stupid enough to let me write a book, which is really cool. What is this book about? It's um, it's a tongue-in-cheek self-help guide. It's called Grace's Guide: The Art of Pretending to Be a Grown-Up, um, and it's loosely inspired by the tutorials that I've done on It's Grace and Daily Grace. Um, it's basically a guide to faking your way through adulthood. I just don't get how you do so much. Like you. Uh, you wrote this book yeah. while you're doing your daily vlogs, yeah. while you're doing this, that. I mean, you're everywhere. Through a movie and a book and all that, you're proving this next phase of YouTube, yeah. which is moving beyond YouTube, yeah. possibly. I think to expand, you have to continue to try new things that maybe other people haven't done and try more to think more innovatively about transforming traditional media to be something that fits with your brand. So I've, always, I've gone the traditional route in the beginning of my career and now because new media is such a big part of it, it's going back and seeing how those traditional things can be infused with what I know and what I care about in new media. And so I think that Camp Dakota was a great example of that. Yeah, what is it like being Grace at VidCon? Um, it, it's great. It's really fun. And I, you know, I say yes to a lot of things and then I realize that my days are super slammed here, but it's worth it because everyone, like, you guys are all my bosses. So it's basically just like hanging out with the, the company for a weekend and getting to know all of the people that are just numbers when I see them or just commenters or usernames. So uh, it's cool. I like it. I We'll probably need to sleep for four days when I get done this. I know, but, after yeah. this, it's like yeah. July 4th crash. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you see yourself in a year from now, in VidCon next year? I have no idea. I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, I really don't. And I, I think I've stopped trying to predict that. Yeah. Um, because I just, I didn't know I'd be here five years ago. I know. So it's a lot less stressful to wonder what that's going to be and then instead to just let it happen. The next year you'll have the book. You'll be like a New York Times bestselling author. You'll, yeah. you know, have another movie. You'll have another, maybe like a TV show. Yeah. You'll I'll have officially lost my sanity and lived in a trailer somewhere in Arizona. That's where the reality show comes in. Yeah. <laughs> I want my very own Duck Dynasty. That'll be great. Grace, everyone.